I'm now going to talk about the six sorts of parallel narrative that I have isolated. Now, parallel narrative means films that have a number of different stories. We're often told that a, a film must be about one hero on a single linear chronological journey. That's not the case. There are many, many films that always have been that have multiple protagonists, multiple storylines and uh, time jumps and so on. There have always been these. And I'm going to talk about um, the six families. Just a quick summary. Tandem narrative, that's films like Traffic, Lantana, Nashville. These are equally important stories running simultaneously in a chronological time frame, no time jumps. And your motto is same theme, different adventures. All the stories will be on the same theme. There'll be different versions of that. So same theme, different adventures. Multiple protagonist form. Now this is in the Full Mon Monty, Chicken Run, Little Miss Sunshine, American Beauty. These are group stories, stories about a group on a quest um, or locked in some kind of siege or having a reunion. Your motto is same team, same adventure. These people will be locked into some joint enterprise, some reason for them to be together and interacting within that situation. Double journeys. This is films like Brokeback Mountain, Finding Nemo, The Departed, The Queen, Lives of Others. This is when you have two characters traveling towards each other or away from each other or in parallel. It's when you have to follow each of the characters separately in order to, to make the film you want to. So you'll have character number one having their own story, character number two having their own story, and there will be an overlap usually when the characters are traveling together. So two characters traveling towards each other or away from each other or in parallel. Flashback. I've spoken at great length about flashback elsewhere. There are now nine different sorts of flashbacks, some simple, some complex. You need to look at the other videos where I explain those in, in more detail. Consecutive stories. These are films like Pulp Fiction, Amores Perils, Rashomon, Atonement. These are separate stories happening one after the other, linked somehow at the end. Sometimes these are uh, fractured, other times they're happening in a linear chronological way. Usually they're fractured, usually they exist in some kind of frame. I used to call this sequential narrative, but then uh, somebody invented a form of uh, conventional linear chronological three-act structure, but you thought of it as being in sequences. So now I'm calling it consecutive stories because it reminds you what you have to do. Um, the other thing about these consecutive stories forms, they often use a complicated frame that I call a portmanteau. I'll come back and describe this at length in some other video. Um, the portmanteau is a fractured frame. So, Pulp Fiction exists within a portmanteau structure. Fractured Tandem. This is 21 grams, The Hours, Three Burials of Melchiades Estrada and so on. You've got equally important stories running simultaneously. So that's a bit like Tandem, but they are fractured. Your motto is a detective story based on dread of death. Now, just generally about parallel narrative. Parallel narrative films always have problems with pace, that is with speed, with making sure that the suspense builds, with connections, because the moment you leave uh, one story, one, uh, one hero on a single journey, people were going to ask, well, why these stories? What is your point? Meaning, what does all this mean? And closure, closing it, bringing all those stories somehow together to transmit some kind of message, whether it's a light-hearted message or not, but um, closure so that the closing of the film is pleasurable. Parallel narrative is based on the three-act structure. It is not the three-act structure, it is based on it. It takes 
multiple three act structures it chops them up and it puts them together in certain specific ways and in order to do these complicated films these parallel narratives you have to have a very good working knowledge of the mechanics of the three act structure